Okay, so this is just a heads up for this progress video. This video has a lot, <laughs> a lot of clues in it. I know I usually do loads of clues in the videos because people want them um, in the videos rather than separate videos. And I could cut them up all the way to just have really short clips of clues, but then I'm just using up all my clips and I don't have anything left. So if you like seeing a lot of clues, this is a video for you. If you don't, just watch it anyway, it's right fun like. Oh shit, and just just after we got 91 defense, we got a hard clue as well. So we're gonna do that real quick. This this is gonna be a good clue. I can feel it because we got dick fucking turpentine, Rick Turpentine, fuck knows. It's gonna be a good clue. <laughs> I, d I don't even know why I say stuff like that anymore because I'm no, it's not gonna be a good clue. But alright, I'll take it, I'll take it, it's all good. Oh shit, got a hard clue from him, Halloween's nice. Gonna get some more magic longbows and runaxes. Let's see it for the Lumbridge windmill. Let's just quickly search to create for the not the casket. Fuck's sake, wilderness for Kino Brit. Fuck right off with your clue. Fuck you right in face. Right, I'm on proper last step, right? Crows your clue step thingy. And what do I not have after like two hundred fifty combined medium and heart clues? A fucking crow's ear. So after painfully having to drop the last heart clue due to a crow's ear mishap we get another one almost at the end of the task so we're gonna just do this real quick and then we come back to the task and hope we can get another clue in the last 17 doubt it but you can always try well we did manage to complete this clue so let's just open it and as i said fucking usual clue rewards are like that's decent but not good so about the third kill at Abbey Spectres. I get a heart clue already! So that's the um, Aberrant Spectres heart clue completed. So let's just open it, yeah. For a Sammy page, some Elf Camp Teleports. Elf Camp Teleports, not bad at all because I was lacking those Sammy pages. We all know I've got the book completed, so I don't really need any more Sammy pages. I wish it was some else. Even though it's not worth as much, but more useful than a Sammy page. But I I'll take it. Nonetheless, I'll take it. Second heart clue this task, I think. I'm not sure. I think it is second one. So let's just quickly go and complete that then. If we can. I'm looking at you, Crow's here clue. Right, so we got the task. So let's just quickly press to pull the lever. Get to a safe place and open the casket. <laughs> For my fourth Ceradomen full helm. There we go. Four Cerad full helmets. Got a nice plantation going on, but. Bloody hell, it's 280k. Oh shit, fuck. Oh my god, that's on the last kill of this trip as well, this task. Dragon bones. Fuck yeah, got myself some dragon bones then. Love it. Fucking hell. <laughs> Ask me well happy that is. Fuck's sake, last fucking kill at task as well, that's so good like. And we got fuck all per usual, so that's nothing new, but we did get a hard clue. So that's what we're going to do, like, in a bit then. So we just completed the hard clue that we got from the uh, Gargoyles. And let's just open the casket for some Gothic's plate legs. I'm not sure if I do have those or not. But it is, um, at least it is something slightly interesting. But yeah, oh, I already have those. So I've got two pair of Gothic's plate legs. So this skill we should should get 93 HP, so we're about 47 XP away from the level. So I'm quite sure we're going to get this skill, so let's just wait for the kill, I guess. I don't know, just awkward pause. There we go, 93 hit points. Sadly we did not go up a combat level, but yeah. We got more clues and you know what more clues mean more shitty rewards so we got the heart clue so let's just open it yeah and as i said shite more shite it's always shite we never get anything good from clues but then again 
It's like 10 minutes for 100k. That's like 600k an hour. That's not too much, but it's always nice to just get stuff, I guess. It's always always good, but I would just want something like really useful. Got another clue. So more like 100k loot or less from like 10 minutes of work. Let's go. Right, so we've got our sexy chef hat. Let's just equip that and talk to Mr. Cook in Cooking Guild. Even though his name is like Hat Chef, but it's alright. Let's talk to him for a casket and let's open it for Bindo's plate lags. Bindo's. It's a long time ago since I got Bindo's, but my prediction was really correct though, like 60k or something in 10 minutes. It's easy enough. But that's a new addition, I'm sure. Um, yeah, I don't think I have man, many Bendos. I to be honest, that's the first Bendos item. Well, technically the second because I lost my Bendos um, the high top rip in um, Temple Tracking. But yeah, nice, nice, nice. That's so useful. Like nice. I mean, we are having a lot of luck with these clues across because we're getting them relatively quickly. Like that's well proper. That is. So I'm gonna just do this clue whenever I'm done here because I don't want to go out of my way to do a clue and come back right so we're just doing it whenever really it's all good so we're here in the wizard's tower which is a magical place so we're gonna read some magical books for the casket and I was gonna say it's gonna be a magical reward and to be honest a guild that plates well it's not guild right a rune G plates skirt isn't Great, but seeing as I recently got myself a plate buddy in the kite as well, pretty much means that we now have the rune cheek completed because, let's be fair, nobody wears a rune full helmet. So that's me well happy, that's so good. Like, I mean, it's nice to have the set nearly completed. I think if we get the helmet, we can put it in our house. So yeah. We're trying to kill KQ with ranged for the first time. I figured I'm on task and I always kill KQ with Ferrex so we don't get the Slayer Helm bonus. But now I'm finding out that you can he flinch her with ranged, which is not too bad, but it does take a piss a bit. Like, it, 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 you have to be a bit more careful with the first phase and the, uh, the uh, whatever it is, the uh, what's it called. The flinching her in the first phase, so you have plenty of foot left. We didn't manage this kill, I'm gonna try this a couple more times and then I'm gonna just report back what I reckon. Alright, there we go, that's the second KQ kill that we've done with it set up now. What do we get? Blood runes and super restore bots. Alright, that's not too bad. Sorry. So, I'm probably not getting the kill because I had her nearly done, right? Nearly killed her, and I don't have a teleport. Well, so I nearly killed KQ, but then two fucking no bets just randomly came in, hit her, and then they just locked off. Like, what the fuck? I don't even have to say it anymore, we all know what this means. Casket, nice, and. <gasps> oh my god, that's. That's. That is, oh my god, that's me happy. That is, oh my god, I've been waiting for some boots like that for so long. And they're better than snakeskin boots that I've got now. They give a whopping seven boost and I think snakeskin just give three or four. So that's a lot better and they count as a Sarah item. Which is just really fucking useful, right? And, oh my god, and another blessing that I didn't have yet. Not that gothics is useful like that, but why the fuck not? But I like the boots. I got myself some boots. Fuck yeah. Alright, there we go. That is my first aberrant spectre or abhorrent spectre kill. Um, sadly, we did not get anything really good like. But it's always nice to just try and kill these because you never know what you're going to get. And it's always just an experience, right? So, yeah. So yesterday I was on my laptop um, and I got a completed Dark Totem and nearly another one completed 
So uh, that's why we're just going to skill Skatizo for a bit like... I fucking love trying to skill Skatizo on Tusk. Because it just is so easy to just kill him. It's so easy. There we go, that's to Skatizo kill. Took like not even a minute. Don't it even take a minute to kill him. And that's just great. And we get a Heart Clue. And I can always use Heart Clues. And we get room plates goods and you get three of them notice. That is well fucking nice. Like that's so good. And the clue. And it is not the crozier clue. So that's me happy. Easy kill and let's hope for some good rewards. And we're gonna dig here for the casket. And what are we getting this time? I mean I can not complain because the last time we did get the set of boots, so it's all good. It's all fucking good. And we got some greater demons as a task now, that's why I killed Skatizo as well. I was going to say I'm going to do Sammy Boss, but I want to grind out the 85 Slayer as soon as possible. So, that's why I'm just going to kill normal greater demons into Catacombs though. So yeah. Right, that's going to be the casket. There we go. And we get a gothic sky shield and some teleports, which are always nice. I love myself some teleports. Besides lunar, lunar aerial teleports, fuck those. But yeah, gothic sky shield, not bad, not bad at all. With the total worth for 130k, kind of like, I mean, interesting. Yeah, I mean, I just missed it because I am in combat and my task is completed apparently. But I did reach 92 defense, and that's me all well happy. And we're like. 14k away from 85 fucking slayers. Let's get ourselves a new task really quickly. And let's hope that Steve, I mean, fuck Steve, could ask. That's alright, that is alright. Like, okay, yeah, more hard clues. Always hard clues. Love it. I'm just risking all my shit because I couldn't even be bothered to bank. It's not really, really risking a lot, but. Casket, there you go, casket. Let's tell you wait from here and open casket for. Oh my god. My god. What the fuck is this rubbish? I mean. Okay. Kira's done for nature runes and some coconuts. Well, that's worth it. Oh, I forgot my herb sack. Nice. I'm not gonna say anything. Re Saramich. What have you got for us today? There we go, that's your kill for eight caskets. And we get. Fuck yes! 85. 85 Slayer. That is so good. Now we can kill Abyssal Demons, obviously. And Sire is what I wanted to try out as well. And there's only two more levels away from 87 and getting a trident from the boss fucking... I'm not going to say a word because I can't even pronounce it for life for me. But yeah, 85 fucking Slayer. Hiya! And it's, it's nice to see that you've made it this far into the video. Um, I want to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed all the bloody clues that I've done in this one because fuck's sake that was a lot of clues scrolls. Um, in the next one, we're hopefully going to get a Abyssal Demon Tusk and get ourselves an overwhip in that lake. Uh, like, it was great getting the 85 Slayer just at the end of the video. I think that's a really nice ending to it. And, um, per usual, at the end of the videos, we're just going to wave. Where is it? We're just going to wave. Bye-bye.